It's special to, to me. Oh, thank you, B. My goodness. Dude. Like, do y'all see this mac and cheese? All right, y'all, so tonight for dinner, it's actually Saturday, college football is on, App State is about to play, Bunky's friend is coming over tonight, he is pumped, we are excited. So instead of making like a big meal, we're gonna make two of our favorite things. We're gonna do some chicken wings, and then also like our favorite little taco bake dip cheesy goodness situation it's amazing i think i've made it i know at least one time possibly twice but if y'all never tried it you're gonna have to i think people can see me nodding they can see you nodding with the camera <laughs> it's like this <laughs> okay so i say we first get started on the taco yeah yeah Does that that's sound gonna good? Take longest. okay so we're just gonna brown this meat and literally make like taco meat Oven's ready. What flavor taco seasoning do we have available, dude? I don't know. Is it down here? Yeah. Oh, El Paso. Oh, here we go. We have the, the Kinder's one. Oh! But I think I want to actually use that when we're eating like straight tacos. So we can taste tacos. it really good. Yeah, like I want to really get that a nice yes. you know, sampling. So the last time I was at Walmart, they actually had this entire kinder's section and it had all the different um seasonings they also had little individual packets of like different ones so i got the taco one but we'll use that whenever we like just make tacos but i cannot wait to try it what flavor are you gonna make for your chicken wings are we gonna do them all buffalo well I, ever since you just said that thing about korean i was thinking about maybe like an asian sauce are you gonna make this up we got, uh, I could probably make it up. <laughs> Mr. Chef. I think we have oh. some ginger paste in the, uh, you see this right here? Oh. We got some ginger paste. So you we got some garlic. And we soy, got some sauce. soy sauce. Rice wine vinegar. Shh. Red chili flakes. You're doing it? Crack of pepper. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I would actually, I really love like Asian chicken wings. Yeah. Actually, chicken wings are so versatile, you, know, you can we, put a, almost anything on them. Yes, and if you're gonna do the Korean, okay. But you know what, we should have got you some, um, like, green onion. Oh, gosh. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe a little sesame. <laughs> yes. We have some teriyaki, too. Okay, I just remembered, we also have this Parmesan garlic wing sauce that I got at Walmart. Do you wanna try that? What? Where do these things come from? I know, Bunny, I buy crazy things. Well, how many chicken wings do we got? Well, let's check the date on this. Oh, this says till 2024, so we're good. Oh, perfect. That's a few years from now. <clears throat> we'll do five Parmesan garlic and five. Okay, three. we only have one, two, three. I think there's only like less than ten in here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta say. But hang something. on. Okay. I want hot wings. See, that's what I was gonna say. Let's let's just do because we still got some Joe's sauce. Oh yeah. So. So I wanna make my own hot sauce. Not do hamburger joes like that, Bunky. That is an insult. I know, but I so love. So many people right now are rolling over. Right now, they're just rolling over. I know, B, but I love my like homemade hot sauce. It's good. It is good. Come here. Hi, you wanna show everyone your sweet haircut? See, I look cute this time. They did such a good job. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and dump that taco meat into our bowl. And then to that, we're gonna add in some refried beans, a little bit of sour cream, and some shredded Mexican cheese. Give that a good stir until it is all combined. And we're gonna pop it into our casserole dish and top it with a little bit more Velveeta cheese. Then you're just gonna throw that into the oven at 375 for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, legit, I could just take a spoon and eat this entire bowl, but we're going to make it even better with the Velveeta. I really do want to just taste it. Yeah, yeah taste it. Ooh, look, we got a little cheese there. Yes. Mm, I'll do one. 
Let me taste it. Oh yeah. It's so good. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Mm. The last time I made this, I really wanted to add like some heat to it. So mm -hmm. let's put some hot sauce in there. You got it, sister. And also. Tapatio. Yes, please. Also, if y'all want to, you can add in Rotel. I would probably drain off the liquid, but then you can totally add that in, or you could use it to top this once it comes out. Okay, give me some Tapatio. Mom's favorite hot sauce. I love Tapatio. How many dashes? Well. Keep going. No, that's probably good. That's good. You can add your own Tapatio to the Yeah, finish thing. Okay. Also want to mention if you don't have Velveeta cheese, you can absolutely use like shredded cheddar cheese or you can use like the little Velveeta slices. Like you don't have to use that. We just like to use it because it's extra cheesy, creamy, gooey. Mel melty. Melty goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on these chicken wings and we're gonna do them in the air fryer. How many times have we cooked them in the air fryer? Not often. Only about four four times maybe but bunky loves the chicken wings in the air fryer and they really are so good and i am gonna make my own buffalo sauce okay it's nothing special but it's so delicious it's special to, to me oh thank you b my number one fan over here okay so it has been 12 minutes i'm gonna turn this broiler on for just a minute and let it get like a little bit golden brown okay i should probably use that slotted spoon to get these things out of here yeah which which part's mine? Whichever you want. But he wants to add some um, jalapeno slices to his before we broil it. Okay, now we're gonna make Bunky's sauce for his wings. We got some soy sauce, sesame oil, um, ginger paste, ginger paste, <laughs> crushed pepper flakes, and some garlic. This is gonna be really good, B. I know. test time we need some sugar in here oh yeah I yeah. need some sugar yeah I need some sugar but that's gonna be good what about some honey oh you need some honey that's perfect instead of sugar honey yes okay so taco dip is done it looks so good once we mix all of that cheese in there it's gonna be heavenly like I cannot wait for this oh. I just gotta have a bite right now can we get you some chips Wait, do y'all see this? Oh my goodness, it's gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna taste test this. Just back here mixing. Y'all. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it is so good. That Velveeta is so creamy and I'm so glad we add the hot sauce to it because it gives it like a punch of flavor. It is the bomb. Do you not have a chip? Just eat it with a spoon. Ow! What are you doing? <laughs> mm, not that hot. My goodness. Dude. That is bomb.com. I don't know why we have not made this in like forever. Yeah, it is amazing. We got a bonus wing. Make sure they're nice and dry. There's 11. Normally it's like 10, you oh, know? Good. Okay, we're gonna spray these lightly with a little bit of avocado oil. And then they're gonna go in the air fryer at 360 for 12 minutes. We're gonna take them out, flip them, and then they're gonna go back in for another 12 minutes. So they'll cook for 20 four minutes all together. I had to do some quick math right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my buffalo sauce. Bunky has his sauce. It is really, really good. That that's gonna be great on wings. Yeah. And then those will be ready. Tell us what you mentioned about the um, ex additional. What? The green scallion? The, the green onion. Oh, but Bunky did say with his sauce, it would be so good if you did have some like green scallions. So if you have those, add it in. 
Okay, so to make my wing sauce, all you're gonna need is four ingredients. It is so simple. You're gonna need some butter, some garlic, some Frank's hot sauce, and lots of cracked black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this butter, and then to that, we're just gonna add in all of the other ingredients, stir it together, and there you have it. You gonna do yours? Yeah, I need to give it a little stir. Let me give this a little stir. The honey in this, though, y'all, was like the perfect sweetness that it yeah. needed. Yeah, and I would totally recommend adding the green onions. Yeah, like, that would just take it over the top. That is pretty good. Mm. I pretty think I pretty good. I think I might have to try one. I think you should. Yeah. Okay, so wings and taco dip is what's for dinner tonight. So good. Y'all gotta try that dip and tell me what you think. We're gonna go watch some football. Okay, so it is bright and early this morning. We are going to smoke some ribs on the big green egg today. Both of us are ecstatic. And this is the first time we have smoked ribs on the BGE. Yeah, first time we've done a long cook smoking something but i'm looking forward to it beyond excited yes so it's 10 30 now but he's yeah. got to get these things prepared so we can get them on the grill i have a couple of videos of like bunky um like his recipe and how he does his ribs so i will link those below but of course i'll show you guys most of the process today as well a beauty the flex did you see the flex yeah B these smell incredible like they're I feel like it's one of my favorite smells ever <laughs> it's just like some smoked ribs oh we gotta go get them finished up oh they look so good okay so it is much later in the day now and it's time to sauce our ribs and if y'all been here for a while you know that i like to kind of concoct my own little barbecue sauce so i basically take sweet baby rays and then i like to add in some melted butter some brown sugar garlic worcestershire sauce hot sauce um apple cider vinegar i feel like i'm forgetting something oh a little bit of ketchup a little bit of mustard I think that's it and then I kind of add that all in and I'm telling you it takes that barbecue sauce like to the next level and I'm not trying to toot my own horn but it is seriously so so good so tangy garlicky vinegary sweet it's just incredible so that is the sauce we're gonna use for our ribs okay so let's sauce these bad boys all right let's just slather them in sauce Another tip that we have for y'all is to spritz your ribs with some parquet while they're cooking. It makes them so good and like glossy and just incredible. So a few times during the cook process, spray it with some parquet. We are about to be eating good. It's like 40, 
about 45 minutes to an hour longer. Ooh! They're already falling apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, to go along with these ribs, we're gonna have some mac and cheese. I'm gonna do it the easy way. It's one of my favorites. You just need some Velveeta, milk, butter, and noodles. It is delicious. And then we're also gonna make some zucchini fries, which y'all know we love. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on those since the ribs only have about 45 minutes left. Okay, so I've got my lineup here. We've got some eggs, flour, and then some breadcrumbs. And then to the breadcrumbs, I'm gonna add in some of the blend, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this to the flour as well. And then also to my breadcrumbs, I'm gonna add in a little bit of Parmesan cheese to make these really good and flavorful. So I'll just dredge them all and then get them on my sheet pan to go into the oven. Okay, so these are going into the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then my sweet little sous chef went ahead and got some water going for us so we can get started on the macaroni and cheese. So once this comes to a boil, we'll just go ahead and add in our noodles. Okay, how mouth-watering do these look oh my goodness i cannot wait to dig into these but he just pulled them off the grill they are done but we're going to cover them with some tin foil and just kind of let them rest until our mac and cheese and zucchini fries are done but then i'm digging in they look to be fall off the bone boo uh-huh i plan on having barbecue sauce up to my elbows yeah i'm gonna have to wash my face <laughs> afterwards because this mirror you better take off that jersey or else you're going to have barbecue sauce everywhere. Excellent suggestion. I do like to take these out halfway through and just flip them over so they get like the same cook on both sides. Okay, so noodles are done. I went ahead and drained them. So to my noodles, I'm going to add in some milk. I just eyeball it and then add more if I need to. I kind of like mine juicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you like yours juicy? No. I like them a little, yeah, I like it to set up a little bit. Yes. And then we're going to add in some butter. And then I'm going to throw in all of the Velveeta that I have left. And literally besides salt and pepper, that's it. Sometimes I add like a pinch of sugar, which I think I might do. Mm -hmm. um, it's very necessary. Very necessary. I know it's weird, but necessary. And then you just let that Velveeta melt. And this is going to be the best stovetop mac and cheese ever. That's all the cheese you're gonna put in there. Sometimes I do add in like a handful of shredded cheddar cheese. So since Bunky is requesting it, I'm gonna do that this time. Bunky said he wanted some of the good cheese. So he's gonna shred up what's left of this block and add that in. Bunky, that sharp cheddar is gonna be so good. And then, like the Velveeta gives it that creaminess. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. Now that's gonna be some mac and cheese. That's gonna be some mac and cheese. I feel like I always have to have macaroni and cheese whenever we have ribs because there is like nothing better to me than taking that like barbecue slathered rib and just like slopping it through that like cheese sauce. Oh mm. my goodness. It is like the perfect pair. Like do y'all see this mac and cheese, this is about to be bomb.com. And this to me is like the perfect soupiness. Like there's some cheese sauce in there, but it's not too thin, not too thick, just right. Moment of truth. Yep. Oh, the moment is true. <laughs> you see the flex there? Yes. That's what you're looking I for. I basically want like this whole half rack. So basically right about here. Oh my goodness gracious. I cannot wait. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Just take one and eat it. Just try it for us. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Oh my oh. gosh. Just get in there. Let it's me, so hot. Oh no, I just, I'm gonna cut it. 
Oh my. I mean, look at that. That's just a hunk of rib. That looks so good. They're bomb.com. And I feel like we forgot to tell them, um, Bunky spritzes the ribs periodically with apple juice. Apple cider vinegar and... Like a copper beer. You know, some sort of beer. Yeah. A lighter beer. Not like a... I think it really doesn't matter what kind of use. Probably not an IPA, mm -hmm. but like a Pilsner lager. Copper. Copper. Amber. Amber. Yep. Stout, maybe. I probably got stuff all over my face. I had to pull my hair back because, you know, when you eat ribs, you got to have your hair out of your face. Mm-hmm. Like, legit, the bone is just literally coming out. Should I? Let me just show you, okay? I can't even get it apart because the bones are, like, literally... Ah. Coming out. Wow. Beautiful bark. I'm telling you, I'm going to have barbecue sauce up to my elbows, and I'm going to love it. It's probably all in my face. No, you're good. For real. And I'm not saying this because it's my bunkie. <laughs> I would go into a restaurant and pay big bucks for these, first of all. Second of all, they're the best ribs ever. And I mean ever. <laughs> They are tender, they are juicy, they are flavorful. The rub, the sauce, the stuff you squirt on them. I gotta say that that sauce that you make really, it really does add a lot to them. Thank so, you, so yeah, good. It's not just me. Y'all. I get lucky every once in a while too. Let me though. just tell you, this is probably one of my favorite dinners ever. Yeah, this hits the spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have this video up here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us in the kitchen. We love you so very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bunky, give us the tea. The tea is, is it your being a punky? <laughs> Everyone says, oh, Bunky's so sweet. He's an angel. If only they knew. Okay, you ready? It's, woo, it's gonna be good. Oh my goodness. We, we're gonna need to get a, a new uh, a new jar next time we go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm watching the... <gasps> oh my gosh, she just run it for a touchdown, a tie game. Woo! Oh my gosh, here woo! we go. Let me get some hamburger chosen. <laughs> so That's great. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my dude that I, that I met. Uh-huh, but he met him at the Luke Combs concert. Yep. Shout out to you, my man. Oh my gosh, I got him so hyped. You that are is, so funny. This is, I can't wait. I told y'all, Bunky loves him some football. I'm about to start singing. I gotta go, bye. <laughs>